Jamaica is one of the most prominent islands in the Caribbean, known for its white sandy beaches, tourist attractions, and authentic food. It is widely regarded as the land of wood and water, and a tropical paradise. However, the island sits in a region that is prone to natural disasters such as hurricanes. Hurricanes are violent forces of nature that can cause catastrophic destruction and the annual Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1st through November 30th and Jamaica's unique location has allowed it to be spared from many powerful hurricanes, although there have been quite a few that came very close but did not make landfall. Landfall is when the center or eye of a hurricane moves onto land and that is something quite rare to see in Jamaica. But there is a tropical storm currently in the Caribbean Sea, which is likely to impact the island, although uncertainty lies ahead. That storm is Tropical Storm Melissa, and it is expected to become a hurricane in the days to come. The last hurricane that made landfall in Jamaica was Hurricane Sandy of 2012 in late October. As of when I'm recording this video, that is almost 13 years ago, but if you're seeing this on or after October 24th, 2025, then it would have been over 13 years ago. Sandy was a fast-moving tropical cyclone that raced up the Western Caribbean Sea, bringing strong winds and heavy rain to the island. Due to its quick acceleration, impacts only lasted a couple hours spear the country from relentless winds over a very prolonged period. Other hurricanes over the past couple of years, included Matthew and more recently Beryl, have come very close, but they did not make landfall. Now, Melissa. This beautiful tropical storm has prompted a tropical storm watch for Jamaica, which will likely eventually upgrade to a warning in the days to come. It could come much closer than currently anticipated over the weekend between Saturday the 25th and Sunday the 26th. As of now, the National Hurricane Center anticipates a peak wind intensity of 80 miles per hour, which would make Melissa a Category 1 hurricane. However, that could change. Melissa will be slowly traversing very warm waters the main fuel for tropical cyclone intensification to occur, so it could be much stronger if other environmental conditions are favorable. This graphic depicts the track forecasted by various computer models, and we can see that it is very probable for Melissa to potentially make landfall on the island as a hurricane, or it could be another near miss. Regardless, very heavy rainfall, Strong winds and storm surge are all likely across the island as Melissa nears, even if the center remains offshore. And with those impacts, there's likely to be widespread instances of power outages, flooding, especially in the more vulnerable places, as well as landslides. As such, now is the time to review your plan of action and make all necessary preparations ahead of Melissa which are recommended to be completed before the weekend. Note that things can certainly change for better or worse. And on your screen are some steps you can take to ensure the safety of yourself and your loved ones. One other way to be prepared is to stay up to date with weather activity. That is why you should be subscribed to my main channel, Weather Girl Danny, where I post timely updates on tropical weather activity. Have a great day and see you soon!